Hey everybody, thanks for joining in again. We've got another short, concise Slicer Prusa Edition video here. Today we are touching on a topic that's been asked quite often, and that is, Chris, how can we reduce the amount of material in our purge block? Uh, there are two very simple measures to do so. They're already in there. They're not very difficult. I've already popped in Clint the Chameleon. You can find him on Thingiverse. Uh, I will post a link in the description in case you want to print Clint himself. He's pretty awesome. Uh, I did mine in all polyalchemy elixir filaments uh, picked up from Printed Solid because they are the official polyalchemy retailer in the United States. Uh, but yeah, if we take a look, I'm going to hit the one button, which will take us on the top view. And we can see that our purge block, if we ignore the, uh, uh, the brim around it, is about four and a half. We'll say four and a half squares. The width is always going to be the same. It's the depth here. The width is, uh, this is all based on the ramming and purging sequence. And that's the x-axis. It's moving on the x-axis, purging out the material. And then it's got to come in and load the material. Uh, one of the quick things we can do to save on the material is we can double click on Clint. And this will take us to our object settings menu here. And there's two options here in the object settings. So again, click on the whole object. Don't just click on these little pieces. Click on the entire object, and you've got things like wipe into this object, infill, and wipe into this object. We can't wipe into the object. What that means is you're going to turn an object into a waste object. Um, wipe into this object. Infill just says, hey, uh, use some of the infill here as, as, as basically a wipe. So it removes some of the wipe tower. So we can click on this. We can click OK. And remember, before, again, it changed our block because it, it reset, and it needs to re-slice to get the exact size. It was about four and a half blocks wide. So we'll slice again. We'll go to the preview. We'll take a look at this block. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not going to reduce a lot because Clint's not a big object. And there could be things like you could be printing, uh, well, it's something that's good, like uh, uh, the Marvin Fett or the two color Marvin. There just isn't a ton of room inside of those things. So instead of being four and a half, it's shrunken down to, looks like just at four, uh, four blocks wide of. Uh, waste. So, I mean, we, we reduced a little bit. I mean, it's not a ton. And again, this is mostly air. If I go through here um, in the beginning here, this is mostly air. So it's not like this is a huge wasteful print. This is just all air. It's just building up the tower so that way it doesn't, you know, has something somewhere for it to go when it starts doing more color changes. Uh, but with five color changes, four of them max at one layer, um, you know, you're going to need, you're going to need some place for it to go. You know, and Clint's tiny. So again, we're not going to we're not going to make a huge benefit using Clint. I mean, we can we can go back and we can make more Clint's. So here's a second one. And it saves the same information when we make another one. So wipe into this object. We can slice again. We can take a look at how much material we save. And, you know, we're just, just under four. So, I mean, we can continue to add more Clint's. And that's why we say, hey, we can save a lot of material by just printing more of the same thing. Uh, and that's all great. But the biggest reduction that you're going to get in material is not printing more clints. It's printing something as a waste object. So we'll move these clints out of the way. We're going to throw a grumpy pumpkin in here because it is the Halloween time out here. It's uh, October, so uh, that's too much pumpkin. But we will reduce our grumpy pumpkin size to something that's more reasonable. And again, this is going to make the pumpkin man here have some stripey issues. Uh, you can use him as just an infill or whatever. So let's double click him. Let's just go right to it. So here's a grumpy pumpkin. Let's pick an extruder for our pumpkin. And orange is one. So boom, one. And we can use him as a wipe in his infill. And click OK. And I'll need to re-slice now. And we'll go to the preview. And remember, the last time we sliced, it was about uh, just under four cubes. I don't know how big those are. Maybe they're 10 millimeters each. Um, I should have probably measured them and figured out exactly. So maybe we can get some, you know, a volume size. But again, it was mostly air. But we can kind of take a look by the previews here, which is great. That Slicer Proust Edition gives us an exact representation of what the block is and what's inside the block per layer. Um, that way we can verify how much material is going into a purge block waste versus uh, being used in our prints. So as this loads, it'll be coming up here. We can see that our purge block went from four to three. So remember, we started at four four of these blocks wide. Hit one, and that'll center us over the top. So we went from four, and now we're down to just 
three little blocks here of, of purge. And all of that is going to be in, mostly inside of the pumpkin guy here. And there we go. And then if I hit export G code, and I have another one already saved here from the test. So Clint and Grumpy, we'll call it 2x Clint and Grumpy. Hit save, because I did test this beforehand to make sure I wasn't going to make a huge mistake. But as you can see, well, actually, I think it'll show me per layer where the purge. Nope, it doesn't show me the purges inside of um, our Grumpy Pumpkin, but we did reduce a lot. Now, the next thing we can do to reduce the block even a little bit more is just turning into a complete waste object. So if we double click Mr. Pumpkin again, we can turn him into a waste object. So we can use his infill and his shells as waste material. And that's the most you're going to use because, again, infill isn't very dense. The perimeters are definitely going to have the most material on something this big. I mean, with this thing this big, we have a lot of, a whole bunch of it, of uh, material to purge into. But if I hit slice again, again, this is going to take a while because this is slot. We've got two full things to slice and a gigantic grumpy pumpkin that's going to be using a lot of material. But this will definitely be the biggest advantage for people who want to lower the amount of purge material. And that's just to put random things in there they want printed. Because, again, we can print this thing in all kinds of crazy, funky colors. And you might like it. Uh, I did one where it was a two-color print, silver and black, and it was actually kind of cool because it would alternate using the entire layers as silver purge and an entire layer as um, black purge. And you can see we went from three blocks to about two and a half. So we got about two and a half blocks of material here. And if I hit export G-code, and we will just call this thing 2x Clint Grumpy V2. And once we get this thing out, we'll see all the crazy layering that was, because uh, this actually used the perimeters, and it'll show me the perimeter waste, uh, because we're using this entire object, perimeters and all, as waste material, this purge block. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is this is going to be your way of really saving material in the long run, if that's important to you. And there you go, you can see the weird colors. You can see that we're still only using two and a half. And again, we started at just over four. So we were definitely reduce the amount of material. I mean, this is a long print, but you're going to end up with two uh, five-color Clint's, or, yeah, Clint the Chameleon, and you're going to end up with one strangely striped Grumpy Pumpkin Man. But the benefit of this is, you, know, here you actually can see it. You can see every layer being used as a, um, you know, here's the yellow being purged in here. Here's the black. Here you can see some yellow being purged in here. And if we go to the red layers, there's red. There's blue being purged into Mr. Pumpkin Man here. Uh yeah, I mean, if you are really particular about the amount of material you're going to waste, this is the best way. I mean, you're always going to have some. There's never a way to not have a purge block just because the MMU2 has to have something for the ramming sequence. Uh, but it is mostly air, as you can see as we go through here. That is just all air in the beginning, all air. And then there's a little bit of purge there. That's not much, and then it gets small. So, I mean, this has saved us a ton of wasted material. We can take Mr. Grumpy Pumpkin and we can spray paint him, you know, orange or purple or whatever we want to paint him. And he's a fully functional piece. He will just have some weird colors that we need to work with. Um, and then you might not care. And it might be a super cool print. So, hey, who knows? Um, that's it. I mean, those are your two options. So, again, when you double-click on something, you can set these two little settings here. Uh, either wipe into the object's infill, wipe into this object, or both. So, save your material. This is your tips for that, and I'm going to go work on the next video. So I've got other little things. I've been a little bit behind in the video, so hopefully that helps you guys save material with your MMU2 prints. So uh, come back for more, and thanks again for the suggestions on videos.